Okey, uh, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, selamat sejahtera and good afternoon. Okey, today uh, in subject operation management, uh, we will cover on topic uh, project management. Okey, uh, project management is a basics in part of our operation management. Uh, so this topic is very big topic. So as we know that uh, in specifically uh, in term of the program, we have specific program on degree of project management. Okay. So in this uh, subject also quite related to industry and in specific departments. So mostly when handles in term of operations on specific product or services, we need some uh, manpower, have good knowledge and experience in terms of leads of the project management activity or tasks and daily by daily. Okay, uh, today we try to cover basics also on the project management. If you are noticed and for this subject operation management is cover many things. So that's many things that we just only cover in terms of basic, such as like this one. And project management is a one program courses, and this is a big issues. But we just to learn and in part of the practically basic information, how that we can get beneficials and benefits when we knows and our knowledge we know about the project management, we can apply for the industrial purpose. And also for our our good knowledge in terms of your uh, readiness when you uh, in industry or we before we go to the industry and uh, so in terms of our capabilities and your your mind capability how you apply all the subject on operations no sorry all the subject on management specifically plus in the specific ones on the project management okay. Okay, we straight away go to the, the component that we need to discuss today. Okay. Okay, we okay, we, we actually have some uh, hands-on on part of the calculation on the how to calculate the PERT and CPM. This method also we just go through the basic calculations. It's never mind, it's not today it's because today I need to manage on the theoretical part. Okay, we straight away the point, uh, the point uh, on the importance of project management. This one characteristic is okay. Uh, okay. Okay, this one. Okay. This is a basically terms and uh, it's not just this one, but some of the uh, important key on the management of project is require you actually know these terms. Uh, the term number one, the all the fact. Sometimes we call that the factors, the project management factors, or we call that project management practice. We have this one. We start with the planning. Okay, planning planning is a goal setting, defining the project and team organization. So we interpret in this matter of planning so uh, as we know that uh, planning okay uh, from the basic one and eh, we have clear on that when we talk about planning or strategic planning so we have cover on the visions missions and term of the strategy also okay but in this term is we call that goal setting okay goal setting can can be uh, can we interpret the same thing uh, like vision mission and objective so we have uh, we call that a target. So when, when we talk about the goal, we need to plus in terms of the target. Target meaning that in regarding on the specific PIC, person in charge. Okay, specific in terms of timeliness. Uh, so we, we, we have your goal, you have the target. So when, okay. So in terms of the goal should be have impact, impact related on the outputs, okay. When you have the goal setting, you should be have to monitor. And we have a little bit after this, cover the monitoring also. So the part of actually 
uh, the monitoring of the progress. Uh, so goal setting is become of not just only we talk about the goal setting part of the vision mission in part of input. So plus we also discuss about the process uh, because in the operation we don't missing we don't miss about uh, the 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 journey of the operation or process. Okay, uh, the defining the projects. Of course, this one and we don't want the misunderstanding, miscommunications. Okay, you get some objective, different objective. Okay, uh, you know the expectations, so you get you you don't have any expectations. So how that you want to monitoring on the part of input process and output. So when 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 I talk about this matter, uh, okay, this this part I'm always teach in the subject uh, strategic management. We call that strategic management system. Okay, I'm a little bit explain these four matters. I know that this part is the strategic management that very related on these matters. Okay, the number one is we call that that related is we call that clarifying and translate strategy. Uh, that, that is, this is really important that the really in the operation also. If you are a manager, okay, in, in the one manufacturing, retailing, or one organization, we have top management. Okay. So we have the CEO, managing director, we have the manager, we have the assistant manager, we have the senior senior people. Okay, they're the part of the top management. So in this method, this group will be set, there will be set up of the corporate and strategic planning. So, so we need to upgrade this, we need to improve, we need to add on, we need to show that the current practices. The problem is that the strategic planning will be clear and understand the all player in organization that we call that clarifying and translate strategy. Uh, again, uh, kalau dalam bahasa Melayu, kalau kata Bos dia dok sembang benda bagus kat atas, pekerja bawah tak tahu pun apa dia. Uh, it's not good. That we we not call that the planning. Somehow that in the organization that's why they put another words in front of planning we call that strategic plannings. Okay? But you should be know the term of strategy. Number one, clarify and translate strategy. Number two is when you bought the planning. That's why we we need some input. Okay, we need to input idea from the employee. That I I'm not sure that I already uh, make a story on this matter. If you work in the Japanese company, such as uh, example in Toyota, if you give one idea, you can get cash to ringgit directly to ringgit. You give idea cash to ringgit that the organization Toyota. I have experience because I work in Produa before, so we call that the uh, the suggestion scheme. You can suggest per daily. You can suggest. Rapu banyak. How many suggestion you can you can send? Okay, there there will be reward you based on the, the best suggestion weekly, best suggestion for months and for years. Uh, okay, there the apa cadangan terbaik harian, mingguan dan bulanan dan tahunan. So that award that. Of course, lah. If you give give the very good suggestion, they have reward in terms of money. Maybe uh, the price is maybe car, house, land, something like that. Okay. So that this matter that how that this this uh, feedback from the employee is really important. Important. So uh, we cannot just make it planning. We work with the top management. We just plan and plan. Okay. We we actually plan, but we do not do things. So somehow that people call that. I don't know how that you are actually practice regarding with your friend. I'm always in 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 doing my work. Always I I mention this word. We call that busy but doing nothing. You are actually busy but doing nothing. So somehow to 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 make sure that you need to clarify this matter. You need to solve this problem. Very good integrated between all the levels. Regarding top management, uh, middles and uh, operation or low management level should be cooperate together. That the second point on the planning we should be discussed is communication linking. Number one, clarify and translate strategy. Everyone knows, cleaner knows, park guard knows, low low level knows that the, all the, the the strategy and clearly can interpret the strategy. Second one is communication linking. That is really important. Now this communication not just only voice to voice. Mouth to mouth, they have many type of the media, a type of the ICT. So we nowadays we have the what we call the email, WhatsApp, apa lagi, and social media. 
punya punya platform so the communication is going fast and easy to spread easy to share okay make sure you share the information the right thing standardized that all the people all the player can receive the same things that how the communication linking is functional and practical okay it's number 3 is about the planning and target setting is it really mesh in these terms you have plan but here plan and goal setting that you should be know that the target setting ah that is most important if you want to achieve a goal you should be know the target setting i i know that some of you have experience work in the industry kerja kat 7e ke you work in the what we call that manufacturing ke dekat laboratory ke you go to the retailing like jasco what else uh, right? Tesco, apa dah nama Tesco yang baru ni kan? So they change the name, so they make it the brand name. Okay, so actually you we face that we call that a short meeting. So when we we go the short meeting, so uh, we, the 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 meeting we have the shape form, a simple form or we call that board. So in that board or the shape we we have the uh, what we call that uh, section and sections. So section one is about the issues. Okay. Uh, so so all the workers they highlight the issues i have these issues i have these issues of course so to 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 make it clear the issues what's a problems okay the first section issues okay we, we something like that and we make it a tables the first column is about the issues second column is about the problems what's the problem so so many issue yes we know that we have a lot of issues so what's a problems so we need to summarize and make it a statement of problems so we need to solve the problem so in this matter in order to solve the problem they, they have many different terms they have used i have experience we call that the term is counter measures how that you counter measures the problem meaning that solution lah so we have issues problem counter measures in order to make sure achieve the goal setting Okay, in this in this this part of the problem and countermeasure, we need to suggest what the countermeasure at least uh, a few things suggestion. Next column is the person in charge. We call that PIC. Ah, uh, if you have experience when we talk about PIC, PIC stand for person in charge. Which people will be handle this problem? Can solve this problem? Which one the best one? The best key player can solve this problem. This is their responsibility to solve these problems. Okay, the last one is the deadline. Very clear, very clear. I don't know how that you have experience with the meeting in the industry, uh, in the government experience. I don't know how that maybe you have faced the government style. You work in the meeting in the faculty with the, the with the lecturer something like you go to the HEPA meeting. It's like the bureaucracy punya meeting. So uh, kata kata aluan. So introduce. Uh, to inform i want to inform our project like this so next week we have this so my friend is success they are give they have sif award something like please clap your hand so everything meeting is just to to show that uh, some like the before and what actually you are actually a success but this not we call that the operation meeting we not call the operation meeting if you are actually good planning if you want to give informative untuk makluman eh untuk makluman you not bring in the meetings makluman email ke you can send in a whatsapp you can send you can read before we in the meetings so in term of operation meeting we straight way calculate so this a meeting we have specific agenda so this is our problem how to solve that's it Again, in in government sometimes kita ada yang ujung tu lain-lain agenda. So what term of lain-lain agenda? So this is not we call that operation meeting. Operation meeting should be clear what you want to discuss, why you need to meet, what's the problem, how to make it solve, which the right people can handle it, we or department can responsibility on this the deadline. That the part of the how that serious and strictly in terms of operation so don't waste your time so tak ada drama drama sangat that this just work is work okay all right next uh, this this become of defining a project and team organization is really important of the team organization so uh, that's why in this subject operation management i need give mark in terms of team so teams is very important in terms of operation we we can know the process in order to to develop one product so we have we call that the lines so in part of the line we have 
let's say I give an example, you have the a six a section. So sorry, we have the six section, section one, section two, three, four, five, six. If you not incorporate, when you not work as this team, you have the problem. That's why in the operation, when you have this, okay, one section, you have a predict how many times. So we, we target on the, on the maybe 10 seconds. Maybe, maybe short, maybe we call that two minutes. So one section, two minutes. So two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. So everyone need to follow that the 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 what we call the the pro, pro, the procedures and procedure and regarding on time in terms of just only two minutes. But if you don't show your your very good in term the in term of team, how that you need to manage uh, very smoothly. And so that's why in team organization is really important. So that's why in this, your project assignment, in order to choose your friend also as a team, it's really important to show that everyone, to show the effort, show the commitment, responsibility, how that we easier to, to handling, easy to give the direction. And kena bagi arahan lah, jadi, jadi leader is something like not just only to, to give the direction, how do you need to harmonize you need to be natural, you need to be more friendly, but objectively, we need to focus. We know that which one the priorities, uh, which one to manage all the things, relationship, times, and costly, economically, and practically. Okay? Okay. I'm sorry, yeah, because this is my style. When, when I teach a subject, I need to very clear, very single thing that I need to make sure you are clear. So this is a part. It's not just only one time you are faced always you 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 see and you you face a sounds is about the planning so but but this matter I, I need to elaborate more because in operation somehow that the planning so in a final exam also that maybe we can uh, ask you about the what's the meaning of the uh, strategic planning in terms of the project management process can you need to explain on this okay number two is scheduling so so scheduling we have one chapter to cover on the scheduling okay so relate with the people so we need to divert we not not strat, what we call that yes diversified strategize and we need to allocate uh, we, we call that allocate so we need to strategy allocate with the people people is meaning that men men powers about the money and supply okay if you if you are noticed about the fishbone diagram cost effect diagram somehow kita panggil tulang ikan so they have we call that 4 m uh, men money material machine we not just only cover 4 m right now we have 4 m 5 m 6 m 7 m 8 m 9 m 10 m so what else material money machine method measurement media what else uh too many so we we can now this we are actually implement the 10 10 m actually okay uh so people's many and suppliers supply also regarding on the means uh, okay because related with the people's specific activity and activity to each other so another important when we learn about the operation is regarding on the supplier okay that we have one chapter recover on the supply chains so that part when we talk about the supply chain this regarding uh, regarding on the main theory is input process output but how do we coordinate regarding on the suppliers and then in the in part of the material until uh, output and customers care or customer satisfactions okay next we call the controlling how that control plan schedule and controlling of course when you try to search when you read a book and operation management they have some bottleneck so before we go to the scheduling we have another factors so this depend on situation on industry also so this is the very basic that's why i'm, I'm thought uh, i mentioned in earlier so this operation management i just cover on the basic things so uh, we cover on the planning, so we are covering scheduling and controlling. It's controlling is really important. Okay, somehow in our life, okay, somehow that we spend a lot of time in part of the planning. So you plan, plan and plan and plan. That's why I add another word, just plan and plan and plan and by doing nothing. Uh, and, and just you just make it plan, but need to realize on planning on the specific. So you are need give actions uh, objectively. And to, to face, always, if you want to implement something, somehow, you face a risk and challenge. You need to face on that. So in order to reduce, uh, that's why we come out the downtime. I want to reduce the defects. 
you want to reduce the apa, overproduction, waiting time. Okay. Uh, what else? Not utilize, inventory, motion, extra processing. So that's this matter of the downtime also. You want to make it reduce. So not just only planning, you make it best planning, you receive the best reduced cost. No, the process is it. Planning is good. Yes, done. How about the scheduling? It's good. No waste. How about controlling? It's good. Reduce the waste also. Okay. About the resources, cost, quality, budget. Okay, resources is about material. Somehow we call that resources is material. Cost is every single cost in terms of operation and managing. It's about the quality. Yes, quality is also that represent the capability, reputation, and customer demands. Uh, yeah, because you, you make it a very good product quality, they have very give some of the, uh, the, the beneficial. So I give you an example. Let's say like everyone knows that this product, we call that car or something like that. So some people, a few days, people, people need my review on the uh, what we call that the new model of the product. Avita, eh, it's not Atira. Is it Atira? Is it okay? Produa Atira. Is that so that Ativa, doctor. Ativa, yeah, Atira, pula. Okay, Ativa. Macam-macam nama kan? Ada Ativa that. So my my prediction is something. I'm not cliche, but but the most important thing, if you want to measure the quality, every single things, okay, every single thing you want to show that you want to show me the comments of the material, uh, regarding on the small part. Or the big part, electronic part. Okay, you want to make it the the comment on the sta stability, uh, stability uh, in term of the 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 friendliness. Friendliness is something like that. If you the maintenance easier, so if you have problem, little bit of your part car part you have broken or missing or uh, error something like that. So easy to get the part is something like that. So how that do we call that accuracy? in term of safety in term of environment so how that i want to give my opinion if you give me only 5 minutes if you want to my review maybe i need to explain maybe more than 1 hours okay so 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 if you show the design i give you example safety okay when 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 you see our our structured car proton and produa they have very major differentiation very major differentiations. Okay, when you see a body, okay, uh, we call that the center structure, besi, and eh? metal car in metal car too. We, you can see the proton. They use the solid car, the solid solid apa we solid metals. Kereta yang rangka tengah tengah antara sepadan pintu depan dengan pintu belakang. That we call that the rangka. Macam rumah kita ada tiang kan? It's something like that. Car also they have the the the, the main structure of car. They have a, a few issues. It's something that we teach. Berat kereta. Which? Car which? Okay. So if you use a metal. So the best metal is from Japan. So if you want to buy a metal. So ni kalau saya sembang lah. Ni besi Korea ke besi Japan? Of course Japan punya metal is good. Compare with the Japanese metals. Of course Malaysia also have the metals. So we call that the grade of metals. So the, the good metal. They have pro and cons. In, it's good in terms of stability, stability, but in terms of shape. Can create a many designs that you make it or uh, we call that stylish design is quite difficult and challenge because your metal is very hard but very solid. In part of the what we call the, 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 the reduced quality of metal, let's say the Korea metals, it is easy to make it stylish. And then the weightage is with something like bread and ringan. Okay. This metal, of course, Japanese punya metal is more expensive compared in Korean metal. And great metal lah. Kalau tak sebut Korean and Japanese, we call that the, the, the great of the metals. So the issue is why the price from Proton is my, eh, sorry, very, very, very expensive compared in Proton because of material. So Proton use the materials is based on the, what we call that the hard metals. Compare with the product uses the soft metal. They have the reason regarding on the oil consumption. Jimat minyak. Kereta yang ringan lebih jimat minyak daripada kereta yang berat. Beban. If you learn about the beban, so if you berat dan ringan, you will be effect on the energy part. Okay. So in energy part, so proton 
is in term of weightage is high. That's that's why compare. It's not it's not little bits, but sorry, it's not high variation is high. No, it's just little bits. So minyak proton lagi murah sikit dengan proton because the structure of body ringan. But in term of safety, ah, that that the reason they have the plus and minus. Okay, if, if the reason if kalau minta maaf minta jauh eh, kalau kena langgah dari tepi, eh, antara between uh, front and and apa the pintu depan dengan pintu belakang. So kalau kena langgah tepi, produa jadi huruf V. Sisi lah boleh ada jadi huruf V, V structure. But in term of proton, not all spec, but mostly like the what we call that. That 60,000 harga 60,000 ke atas kereta proton mesti they have very good structure in the car. So kalau kena langgar dengan tepi pun tak jadi V sangat. They still kemek lah, of course, for sure. But but they tak jadi macam V. In terms of this, as the customer, you have make a decision. You nak uh, design yang yang okay uh, ada stylish, or you want to the structure of the car metals, okay? Uh, okay, somehow our Malaysia people always think that about the pricing, okay? Murah, mahal kan? Lepas tu nak jual balik. That the reason why the Produa control the market. Because their price quite lower compared with the Proton. And then dia punya apa? Uh, market value ataupun we call panggil susut nilai kan? And something like that. If you, uh, let's say lah, you make it loan uh, nine years. Habis bayar sembilan tahun pun, dia, dia apa value kereta tu masih ada. Uh, dia bukan jadi macam scrap lah. Beli kereta jadi scrap. Tak, eh? Kereta produk is something like you can sell your your second hand car after you using nine years, ten years, fifteen years, something like that. So somehow that the customer will be pretty on this. Okay, I buy this product car because of this matter. Uh, jimat minyak. Okay, so that the market value, easy to get the part. So easy to... Easy to well, we call that you can go to any workshop. Uh, you can go to the 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 shop that buy a part. Easy to easy to assembles. Okay, easy to go to the workshop. Everyone know to handling and maintain this this car is something like that. Okay, but when we talk about the quality, what type of the quality? And that that the reason why the reason why if if people ask me, I need to explain more and more. That's part of the quality that, that I, I love the one review car review in Malaysia that they are mentioned about that so I buy a product car because I love Malaysia mostly part in the product is actually local part meaning you use the vendor part of the item okay that the part so if we I'm the quality guys is something that we know that little bit uh, in term of vendor is not supplied in the right methods Yeah, in terms of planning, kita nak plan ni kan. Okay, you supply this one. Cantik, solid, everything. But in order to to make it a pilot or you want to, sorry, go to the prototypes. So, so vendor kata, oh, benda ni mahal lah. Kita kena tukar sikit design, something like that. It's something like based on negotiation, we make it the flexibility. Maybe we, we need to change the material or design, something like that. But that I know that because I work in the automotive line, I know that Why I'm buy the car? Sometimes I need to check. Oh, this car using this material or this part use this supplier. Of course, that that that. So I will to measure in everything. But somehow that when 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 people ask me in term of quality, you want in this part matter. What matters you want to be discuss? Uh, if you want to discuss about the value, uh, this is the reason of values. So we have the quality values, we have the customer qualities, we have the quality in the equipment, we have the quality on the safety, we have the quality in terms of what? In terms of part, we have the quality in to, to long life uh, long life structures, uh, something like that. So banyak, so banyak dia punya jenis of the quality. Okay, sorry, I'm explaining more on this matter. Okay, next is about the budget. Okay, this is the budget how that you need. Uh, you, very basic theory, okay, or, or concept here. So, it's budget is not, if you have money, kita tak boleh habiskan, eh? you, you, you baru dapat PTPT, and then we cannot cannot buy sesuka hati, and then duit pun habis. And you need have to manage your your budget. Which one, the, the priority, and you need spend your money in terms of uh, controlling your, Your budget. So budget is really important, but you need to have the safety budget, 
So you need to to progress your project and by through the planning, through planning and good uh, sorry, through planning and good scheduling, you can easily control your budget because you have done your planning and scheduling. So if you want to control your budget without any planning and schedule, how you want to manage your budget? So that's why in this part of the planning schedule controlling is not the, the split part or differentiate part. They are actually they are going to cycles. Okay, if you go, you have planning, then you go can go to the scheduling. So after scheduling, we can controlling. Okay. All right. Uh, this this method can show that. Uh, okay. The the process here uh, regarding on the planning. So uh, on the scheduling and the controlling. So in terms of planning, we talk about objectively resources, weight breakdown, structured organizations. Okay. Scheduling. We have the project activity start and end time. We have the network. Controlling, monitor, compare, revise, and ensure. So it's not just limit. For example, in controlling. Don't just talk about monitoring, compare, revise session. We we have many. So we need when we talk about the what we do the compare, we call the analysis. So in terms of analysis, maybe you you need to do the sum compare. You can find similar. You can find difference. You maybe you want to integrate. You want to combine. You want to split. So you need to implement. So implement. You need to check the quality. After that, you need to revise. Okay. Then you need to check something like action. When we talk about the quality process of circle, pernah dengar tak on sebut PC, PCDA, plan check, do, uh, plan check do act. Uh, PCDA, sorry, plan check do act. Uh, something like that. That that the 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 old school of the quality. Uh, the circle. So nowadays they have implement uh, a new practice, not just plan, do, check, act, but they are apply for the MAIC. So we call that D is the define, M is measurables, A is analyze, I is improve, last is control. That's why I I I believe that should be operation we can end is part of the process of the control. Everyone need to have control. So that's why uh, the last the MIC C is a control so the before this before we need to be success on the planning and scheduling we need have to define define the objective define the resources define the structure define the organization okay define the project activity define the start and end time define the network okay next lepas define to measure how to measure objective how to measure resources after that after measure we need to analyze how to analyze objective how to analyze uh, resources okay time to time that's why we need to improve uh, define measure analyze improve the last one is controlling uh, so this is a part of the project management activity uh, this one somehow that the student can okay dia kata kita belajar kat industri lain belajar kat dekat industri lain that's why in academic we learn planning structure controlling so this is part you you learn. Okay, when you go to the companies, so they they pakai plan, do, check, act. You go to the Japanese country or US company, they use the define, measure, analysis, improve, control. That's why I, in this subject, I want to show your reality. So in 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 study and academic, we read from the book. They have planning, scheduling, and controlling. But in terms of practicing in their life industry, they use PDCA or DMEIC. Okay. Okay, this sum of the just to visualize. Right? So this one uh, visualize on the project planning, scheduling, and control that how their works. So we 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 be discuss on term in terms of time. Okay, uh, time, cost, delivery, safety, quality. Ah, this one their measure performance the goal. Just talk about time and cost. Okay, but in reality, if you work in industry, we have other things. Not just only cost, not just only uh, time. We have also regarding on the delivery. Uh, delivery maybe uh, uh, link also with the time. In terms of quality, uh, quality, safety, and environment. So we have cost, time, quality, safety, and juga environment. Now this environmental is very important. So we want to make it economic, eco. So you want to easy to, all the part can easy to recycle and can using these methods. Okay. Easy to get the material is something like that. So friendliness. Okay. Then show that they define the project, develop work breakdown structure, identify team. And this one part of the planning. Okay. So how that uh, the, the planning works together, cooperate with the scheduling project is really important. So 
So everyone, if you want to know that a uh, product have the system calculate, so we call the customer requirement. So we have calculate. So regarding on the car service, we get the customer demand from that. So berapa banyak kereta nak keluar based on the customer demand. So from that, the calculation from the customer demand, we do some the tu lah per chart yang kita akan cover nanti lah. Okay. So these people, so can sequence activity. So they are assigned people, which the right people we can handle this system. This is thing of 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 daily things. Okay. Schedule of the variables and schedule the resources. So everyone, you should be managed. Nowadays, now easier. And all this organization, you want to more structured and systematic, they buy, they invest, uh, what we call that application. So maybe can application can install in your handphone. So you easy to, to, to apa, scheduling by project, by monitor, by apps. You have apps that easy to monitor by, by, by your handphones. Okay. So, so last one is controlling that how that monitoring. So this part is really important uh, specifically for the top management or the team leaders to monitor all the activity and daily things for monitor resources, cost, quality, that, that the words. Uh, monitored, so they, they also relate, related with the quality. Revise and change plan. So this one, a part of the quality control, you want to improvise, you want to controlling and monitoring. So of course, part of controlling and monitoring, we need to revise and change. It's much better. Why, why we need to monitoring and controlling? Because you want to reduce the cost, you want to improve, and you want to be success. Okay. Okay, this one also uh, they have uh, regarding on the that's why in this matter that maybe we we, we learn of this uh, CPM and PERT eh? maybe this one of the calculation methods so we need to learn this one and somehow that this I don't know how that I think that this chapter three is not covered for final exam for the for the basic so we have the what we call that uh, project uh, scheduling so we have the project. Um, 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 planning MRP so that's one uh, inventory also that we are covered for the final exam but this is a part of the introduce that uh, when we talk about the project management we will be discussed in this matter CPM, PRT, Gantt chart, milestone and cash flow and, and schedule so already we talk about the budget delay activity and slack activity so this matter also have the function on in terms of operation regarding delay and slack okay in terms of calculation we have some information to, to, to know that because in terms of formula, so we need to calculate regarding on the, the time, delay and slack. Of course, the budget also. So time cost estimation, budget engineering diagram, cash flow chart, material availability. So somehow that we call this one visual. In the manufacturing and operation, somehow that we using the visual. So visual can can show that the uh, monitoring. If you want to want to monitoring, monitoring, we use a visual. And of, of course, if you want to have experience ataupun pernah tengok kat TV, something like that. So when you go to the operations, all this thing will be shown in the board. And sekarang ni board mesti adalah board secara physical ataupun some organization have run uh, fully fully apps. Maybe they can monitor by using their phones. But but, but for me, in this matter, I, somehow that I, I think that the, the manual is much, much 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 practical compared dengan app so because app something like no update have error wi-fi issue dan other issue signs not capture like that so in, th in this operation should be do some specifically structurally specifics and uh, please do more action more effort i think that the manuals monitoring is quite but but right now i think we we not run away a technology so we need to blend uh, regarding on the technology and manual best practice. Sometimes we don't talk about manual. We are, then we call that a good practice or best practice. The success is company because they are very good in terms of scheduling and monitoring. Uh, jadi, based on the scheduling and controlling, they use a board. Something that board, you have the manual board. But this is a manual board. But somehow that we call that this is a best practice controlling board. Okay, project planning, establish objective, define project, create uh, or break down. This one already mentions. Okay. So the project organization often temporary structured, use specialized for entire company and hit by project manager, coordinate activity, monitor schedule, permanent structure called a metric organization. It's something like that. Okay. So kita kena faham kan department. So department, we have marketing department, financial department, operation department, somehow we call the metric organization. Why why we need to more structured because this is a line. Okay, kadang-kadang untuk reduce cost, kita kena kena make sure that uh, all department 
dia kena ada task yang specifically dan saling ada align between one department to another department. So that's why we call that metric organization. Bukan kata oh kalau kerja ni duduk kat mendahari, kerja ni kat dekat marketing, kerja ni duduk kat fakulti is something like that. Yeah, because we use the classic works and we call that classic organization. But nowadays whatever you want to set up your organization, you should be analyze why why you should be join this department. How this department also can improvise our operation because this department will be aligned will be linked in this matter so kerja jadi mudah kerja your your is your work become easy more structure more standardized less error and then uh, become standardized uh, that's the most important thing why why we need to structure in a metric organization so because there's this 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 lacking of metric organization that's why our controlling is not It's not smooth, and our our scheduling also not accurate. Okay, that's why uh, our planning also is not is not fully 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 uh, fully objective, or we call that structured planning. Uh, we don't have achieve the strategic planning because of this matter. Because when you set up your organization, you not properly and uh, calculately and 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 study and analyze your your organization. That's why metric organization is very important in part of the planning, scheduling, and controlling. Okay, ni project organization most helpful when okay this one this method is okay. Uh, this sample ni sound like the how the metric organization. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you if you highlight that, yeah, for the big companies, we always think that because they have big money, they have banyak duit, eh? But you have the they have a lot of workers and eh? they have a lot of the office department section. They have many uh what we call that uh, cawangan uh, again that that this matter how that the most important thing we need to deeply their organization uh, so this part they have president human resource marketing finance design quality management production so in this part some people that maybe need change uh, so example like human resource and marketing uh, uh finance so. Uh, This is a part of human, so this is a part of marketing, of finance. They have quality management and production. So somehow, uh, organization need add one more, but will be increase the cost. So the, here they have the design. If me, I change the design with the R and D. Research and development should be in. They have the design. Okay, how that the R and D can work with the HR. How that R and D can work for the marketing also. How R and D can work with the finance, quality, and the production also. So that that part is really important. So how that quality management can improve the quality HR. How that quality in marketing, quality in finance, quality R and D, and quality production. How that this finance can handling about the finance on HR, finance and marketing. Ah, that's we call that metric organization. That part clear, clear tak? Maksud dia. If you want to set up the metric organization, they can stand alone, they can single. That how they can work corporately is good corporately with other departments. So somehow that regarding the manager, the manager have the good knowledge and experience, not just focus specific in one's departments. Also, they have little bit can can using can use their expertise and knowledge to others department also. Yes, everyone need to specify their 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 their, their, their tasks and their projects matters. But somehow that how that can easy cooperate. This one you can show that how very good cooperate between all project manager, medical, test, technician, computer, electrical project manager. How that this all this um, engineer as manager can work together. Yeah. Okay. This this is how that, that uh, so this one show that visualize on this. This uh, manpower, okay. How that the project number one. So you we need have one marketing. So in operation we have need one uh, engineer in operation. So we need have the engineer and their finance. So so this one satu dua tiga. You have five workers. So this one project one five workers. This one also five workers. This one five. Uh, this sorry this one two three four five. This one project one is five. Project two is five. Projects uh, three is five. Uh, project four is six. Of course, project four you increase the manpower, and uh, you increase the manpower because in operation you have both two workers in engineering also. In project three you need to two operation and project one is two marketing is project one is two engineering. So this is a metric. 
If you ask me which the best, no best answer here. Okay, it depends. Okay, let's say your, your operation is going standardized. You have very good engineer. You have very best finance people. That's it. You need one operation. Let's say my option is something like that. Uh, option two, you one operation, one engineer, one finance. I need more marketing. So my business is going how to get the sales. So going the project B. But in this matter, how that? You very particular your products. And project number one, you very particular on engineering. So that's why we need hire two engineer here. Okay. So uh, in part of project number three is an operation. So because you uh, a lot of workers need here, not enough one workers in operator. So you need two operator. Okay. In this matter, you need two two operator, two engineer. Uh, I I don't think that project part is good. Project four is 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 not suitable. For me, lah. So, if you ask me, project four is actually increase the cost because you need both uh, two two player in the engineering and the project. But in this case, it's actually actually depends. So, uh, for me, in to be realistic, this is my option. Eh? I I already mentioned that no true and false risk cutting on the metric organization depend on the purpose. In this case, maybe if you if you ask me in terms of the option, maybe I choose project two or project three, and uh, project two project three somehow that. Uh, we we have very good workers in the finance engineering operator, so we need to more and more to do the marketing. So one go to the traditional marketing, another one go to the technology marketing. Okay, or oh, this one in operator because you want to make sure that uh, all operator fits. So we will focus in the part of operation. So we need two operators. So project number two and number three is the option. If if I have manufacturing, maybe in this matter if. This situation, I need to, I need to have, sorry, I need to choose. So I maybe deduct a project four because increase the manpower. So I have last one need to choose number one, two, three. I maybe choose a number two or number three. Regarding on salary also, gaji engineer mahal and gaji engineering mahal and gaji finance makin mahal. Uh, if you use two engineer, maksudnya cost lagi tinggi. Uh, and so the maybe the 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 ikut nature punya current practice sekarang. Uh, gaji untuk marketing dengan operation lebih rendah berbanding engineering dengan finance lah. uh, and that you need to think about the cost also about the salary in in order to make a decisions okay ada soalan nak tanya uh, if you have any question please eh? uh, I, I can see in the chat rooms uh, if you have any question i will be feedback on that your questions uh, Okay, this one highly visible. This is the last slide. Okay, the role of the project manager, our project manager, uh, all necessary activity are finished in order and on times. Uh, the project uh, come with the within a budget. Uh, the project meets quality goals. Uh, the people assigned the project receive motivation, direction, and info information. Okay, uh, this four is really important. That we need to know that. Uh, Kalau you nak jadi project manager, this is part, okay. To make clear, uh, to make realistic, kena tengok dekat uh, surat khabar lah. Uh, kena tengok kat job. You need to find in the job street or the eklan for newspaper advertising on the uh, kerja kosong ni and vacancy, job vacancies. Uh, what is actually the role of the project manager? In this matter, they just highlight uh, you need to uh, plan, scheduling and control necessary activity by from the finish in order on times. Project come with it a budget. You how you know how to handle in terms of the budget. So you know that as the uh, the project management, you need to meet the quality requirement or quality goals. The people assigns the project receive motivation, direction and information. So this this is a basic. Actually, if you ask me, they have a lot of uh, job description for purpose on project management not necessary this for we have a lot of things or something like that so nowadays if you work in the project management you need to know about the application software we have uh, a few software on the project management so we need to have experience and skill to to using that software how to apply that software okay because they have some all the graphic they make it uh, fast decisions and when you have faced the problem you, if you have the data you easy to analyze then can show the, the output on and the result so how that uh, you you have the capability on the nowadays quality is good budget is good time is good what else you need to improvise another trees first you have very good to handling by 
by policy, um, environmental policy, safety policy. Another one is about the technology. Nowadays, if you have good part of financial, you have knowledge on financials, you know that all the quality tools, okay, you can good in terms of planning specific in time, you have experience and knowledge on environmental and safety and policy for the law law and the what we call the intellectual properties punya regulation and policy that's become very complete balance and to be the the what we call that the 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 the, the project manager and for the for your futures uh, futures project managers okay all right itu saja untuk untuk saya kongsi uh, untuk untuk hari ini just today that highlight that about what is a project management our our cycles on the planning uh, scheduling and monitoring a little bit example the situation i'm share a uh, little bit from my knowledge and experience how that this project management is really important when we talk about project management when talk about the player main power is we call that project manager so you can you can increase your knowledge by try to explore go to job street to to explore what's the the criteria uh, if you want to be a project manager because somehow this is a just theoretical currently i believe that ict technology is must in part of safety yes in part of the uh, what we call that uh, safety uh, safety environmentals and then for the law part and to this part is really important if you can blend it this matter how that so that's why my friend always uh, it's not always uh, sometimes we have the discussion that we are agree that they kata if if we know about the law we need to handle the operation we can easy to understand to get the sound like the, the more project a bigger project because we have learned about the law if we know about the safety because this is a requirement now this safety is a requirement plus environmental so that's why we have the iso we have iso specific on safety we have iso specific environment if you not as receive you company don't have iso safety and iso environment you cannot be work together we cannot work together we cannot be uh, let's say uh, supplier if you want to be supplier in this big organization or manufacturer you must have iso safety and environment so this is a requirement you you need you need this if if you don't have meaning that you don't have works you have the, don't have a job how that you need to to what we call that the manage in the big organization of any venture okay saya buka soalan jika ada soalan ada soalan lagi kalau ada bukan soalan lagi soalan pun tak ada lagi okey ada soalan nak tanya sebelum kita tutup kelas kita ni ada soalan sama sejahtera doktor okey sama sejahtera uh... Uh, boleh saya tanya beberapa soalan tentang assignment tu. Uh, saya nak tanya, uh, yang proses interview tu perlu dirakamkan ke? Apa dia saja? Okay, dia is something like the, the most important ni ada bukti lah. Uh, uh, proof lah kalau kalau nak rakam pun boleh. Is something like because of this matter of interview. Ada yang buat interview secara online kan? Kalau kadang rakam, kadang dia tak bagi nak rakam kan? Ada setengah tak bagi rakam. Uh, so betul, betul. Ada, ada catatan, at least you can prove by picture, eh? you can prove by screenshot, okay, if you don't have the video. Okay, the, 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 the matter is I need some proof lah. Again, uh, kalau you pergi live, mungkin ada gambar, mungkin ada dia signs ke, dia chop ke, something like that, dia ada bagi business card ke, show me a proof. Eh? Uh, tu je lah sebagai untuk, we call that reliability purpose lah, nak tengok sejauh mana you are actually Uh, uh, mendapat keboleh percayaan daripada saya lah. Saya percaya lah you pergi lah. Uh, doesn't matter of online or offline. And sekarang zaman masih lagi kita dalam situasi yang belum selamat sepenuhnya. Uh, jadi ada yang interview directly interview, ada yang buat call interview, ada yang gunakan platform social media punya platform. And kita gunakan macam Zoom macam ni. So everything in terms of report, you need to show me the the proof lah. Ada nama dia kerja apa, uh, gambar dia sampai like that. Okay, to be flexible. I don't make a specific in this matter, but show me the proof that you done interview purpose. Okay. Uh, okay, doctor, faham. Uh, lepas tu saya nak tanya, uh, interview tu, uh, doctor mention uh, kena dengan expert. Jadi maksudnya interview tu mesti di, dilakukan bersama dengan uh, uh, pekerja di OM department ke? Maksudnya macam mana? Sebab kalau okay, contoh kalau lah, tanya, kalau tanya management. saya lebih pada OM department lah. So of course because oh, we we deal with okay. the kalau kalau kau tanya quality quality engineer pun duduk dekat 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 operation department. 
somehow dia tak panggil lah operation management dia panggil production department kan nama lain lah somehow uh-huh. that in the book we know that operation department but somehow that kat sana dia panggil assembly department lah logistic department lah uh, dia panggil production department lah quality department lah uh, safety department lah ada lah eh? Okay, kadang-kadang nama-nama nama dekat kilang sukati dia lah. Kalau nama saya macam saya buat kilang pun mungkin nama lain saya buat. Uh, again, uh, Al-Farabi Department. Uh, Farabi Department, Department apa ni? Uh, kan? uh, jadi uh, kadang-kadang dekat, dekat manufacturer organisation, they use the, the different name. But the function is, the most important thing dia boleh jawab lah soalan kita, betul tak? Kan? Uh, kalau you tanya soalan pula operation, betul, you betul. think you dekat finance, macam mana nak jawab? The right people to answer your question, which the specific expert can give their best answer based on their knowledge and experience. Uh, okay, faham doktor. Uh, doktor, soalan last. Uh, doktor cakap minimum 10 soalan. Jadi hmm. kalau maksimum tu boleh pergi sampai berapa soalan? Oh, janganlah banyak sangat lari dia nanti. <laughs> so macam ni lah, I think uh, don't, okay, have, don't, have, don't, don't have maximum question lah. But mostly uh, because some one question maybe they take time to answer. Okay, if you give more question, maybe... Normally lah kalau orang tanya kita banyak soalan pun kita tak dapat jawab dengan baik kan. Ha, jadi to be more focus, why not try to uh, to give the good question. Ha, if you have bring 10 good question meaning that you have you can get more uh, orang kata beneficial and practical answer lah. Boleh lah kalau 11, 12. Tapi kalau tanya saya, saya tidak melarang nak tanya 50 soalan. Kalau dia boleh layan, ha, dua hari dua malam ha, terpulang lah. Tapi kalau tanya saya, itulah saya nak Paling tidak 10 pun dah cukup dah. Kalau lebih tak ada tak mengapa. Uh, okay, faham. Terima kasih, Doktor. Kadang-kadang ada soalan tu tanya kan, apa khabar? Itu tak kira lah eh. Apa khabar? Sihat? Uh, tengah buat apa? Uh, itu tak kira lah. Eh, kena tanya betul-betul spesifik pada apa yang kita nak tanya tu. Uh, kan? Kalau tanya pasal downtime kan? D1. Kan? Downtime kan ada 10 kan? Uh, ada berapa? Ada 8 kan? Uh, dah, sudah 8 soalan lah. Uh, kan? uh, jadi kalau tanya saya, takkanlah tak ada tanya soalan pasal defect. Kenalah sebab kita nak tanya pasal defect. Satu soalan pasal defect. Satu saja pasal overproduction. Satu soalan pasal waiting time. Satu lagi pasal tanya pasal WON, not utilized, transportation, inventory, motion, environmental. Okay, nak tambah lagi. Tanya lagi dua soalan tu bebas lah. Ha, eh? Jadi yang yang downtime tu wajib dah kena ada satu soalan. Sebab kita memang nak fokus yang tu. Ada apa-apa soalan Faham, lagi? Terima kasih, Dok. Terima kasih, Doktor. Hmm. Okay, kalau tak ada apa-apa soalan, kita terus bincang dekat grup WhatsApp. Ha, jangan malu, kat grup WhatsApp tu boleh tanya juga soalan. Kalau nak tanya pasal assignment. Macam tadi, terus nak tanya pun boleh. Just in case you have question nak tanya kat WhatsApp pun, okay. Okay, kalau ada apa-apa lagi nak tambah, ada nak tanya sebelum kita boleh tutup. So, uh, for the next week, uh, for the next week, okay, uh, because of, um, uh, kita cuti hari selasa kan, we have holiday on the uh, Tuesday. So, uh, in this matter, uh, Hari Isnin dan hari Selasa mungkin kita tak boleh buat kelas jugalah. Eh? Uh, jadi, oh tak boleh. Hari Selasa. Uh, we, can we make another option that I will discuss later? Uh, saya sebenarnya Isnin tu cuti. Isnin tu cuti. So, Selasa memang cuti. But but I try to make it alternative what can be learn from the next week. I will be share with you after this. Maybe we have a just discussion in WhatsApp group. Okay, uh, maybe I give you tasks in terms of assignments. They say everyone can be uh, update your progress through uh, our class. Or we, I'm share uh, a video, my previous video on the topic, next topic to cover a next next chapter. Okay, but to officially, uh, I'm holiday on the Monday, uh, on the uh, public holiday on the Tuesday. But I always think that I, I don't want to miss the our class section. I will make it alternative way that we still have the class but it's not just, it's not online like this. Okay? Alright. Uh, okay. Terima kasih banyak-banyak. Assalamualaikum dan 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 selamat sejahtera dan terima kasih. Okay. Terima kasih semua. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih.